Now I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce a colleague of mine, uh, Millie Roundsville. She's the executive director of the Northwestern Wisconsin Community Service Agency to present the Gaylord Nelson Award. The Gaylord Nelson Award is given in recognition of a democratic lawmaker for outstanding support of the community action and low income family for community action and low income families. Millie. So I have the pleasure to present because I had actually submitted the nomination. I nominated Senator Janet Bewley from the 25th district. She's the Democratic minority le leader currently in the Wisconsin State Senate. Senator Bewley has a distinguished career serving the people of Northern Wisconsin, both in terms of work, her work as a community development leader with WIDA, the city council in Ashland, the two terms she served in the assembly, and currently as the Wisconsin State Senator and Minority Leader. Janet serves as a member on the Committee of Education, Committee of Universities, Technical Colleges, Children and Families, and the Committee of Utilities and Housing. Senator Bewley has championed greater investments in infrastructure, schools, skill training, rural transportation, and affordable housing. Most importantly, she was also a co-sponsor on our comprehensive anti-poverty legislation, the Wisconsin Opportunity Act in the 2019 session. For these reasons, we are thrilled to present Senator Janet Bewley as the recipient of the Gaylord Nelson Human Service Award. Janet, you are a powerful voice that's been representing Northern Wisconsin in a variety of capacities for many years. I wanna personally say that I greatly appreciate being able to work with you, I think in all of these capacities. I appreciate your commitment to the people that we're serving your willingness to come and stop in, whether it's a community forum, a homeless gathering, touring a shelter, but I greatly appreciate your true commitment to work with us here on the ground, acknowledging the needs of all of the residents of Northern Wisconsin. Thank you, thank you very much. Now, do I get a chance to talk? I mean, I'm a politician. Do I get to talk for like about the next 45 minutes? Is that right? No, no, I don't. Five minutes? <laughs> can I talk for five minutes? Okay. Yes, we can okay. get it. All right, set the timer, set the timer, because there's some really important things that I really want to say. And I, I, I often just talk off the cup, cuff because somebody always says something that inspires me. And right now the word is mutual, okay? We heard from Mutual of American and, and, and Lisa spoke. We have ways of doing things in this country. Um, be it a bank or insurance or helping people, cooperatives, those, there's always a way to do it the right way. To do it, it not, not to say that every insurance company has to be a mutual, right? don't get me wrong, but what a model, you know, what a model for the delivery of, of something that everybody is used to, but normally it's a big for-profit you know, investor owned thing. A mutual is different. A mutual is about each other. A mutual is about a commitment to each other. And I'm, I'm honored to accept this award because, because of the mutual relationship that I have with the CAP agencies, with people like Millie. There's, I, I can't think of a greater honor than to have Millie say she nominated me. I mean, because it's something that we do together that makes this, makes it work. And if you think about the amazing response to COVID and how much work is going in to mobilize people now because of the, the COVID outbreak, we could do that for poverty. I mean, we, we could, we could, if it was really a priority, we could mobilize. I mean, I, I've had the pleasure a couple of times of, of hearing Reverend William Barber speak, and he brings us to tears and cheers. He's with the, uh, the Poor People's uh, Campaign. But again, the, the words mutual and morality, the morality of coming together to help other people. 
there is um, a powerful ethic in that, a, a powerful commitment to each other, to the common good, to the, the, the people who need us the most. And today, in the, in the amazing dawn of, we hope, really understanding social justice, or really, hopefully, getting it, this is our time to, to really rally for the true social justice, which is, is to eradicate poverty. Um, that is what we do together. I, I hope that I can continue to do that with all of you in the role that I play in the legislature. Because all of us, from all of the all of the places where we sit, all of the pulpits that we have to speak from, all of the people that we might be able to to influence, we have a role to play. And when we can do it together, when we can do it with a, with a mutual understanding of the morality of the outcome, um, that's when magic magic happens. So I am. I'm deeply honored by this. I, I consider this um, probably one of the most meaningful honors I've received because it's it's from all of you, and I so respect what you do. Thank you.